So I just wanted to, to um, start with a little bit of an overview of the poll. I'll, I'll provide you guys more information. But just to get us going, this survey we've been doing for 13 years, I think now? 13 years, something like that. 13, 14 years. Uh, we typically have a, a little more time to, to work on it and I get some more feedback from you guys. But let me just explain to you guys how polls work. So a poll is you contacting uh, Joe Blow out in the public, right? And so um, because of some past um, baloney practices that have gone on, immoral practices, illegal, all that kind of stuff, we have very clear rules, not, not I don't mean I or coastal class, but just but people in general, researchers in general. Um, we now have these um, standards for behaving whenever we interact with people in a, a scholarly fashion. And so because this instrument requires you to talk to folks in the public, we had to go through that training. You guys have to go through that training. So I'll, I'll explain it a little bit and then I'll, I'll show you what, what that means. But the short version is because people have done messed up medical experiments on people, because people have done some messed up psychological experiments on people, anytime we come into contact with a person, this could be for a medical exam trying out a drug, this could be with uh, figuring out someone's maybe cancer history in their family, or just a simple polling activity like this, we need to make sure that we're uh, following the rules and, and not doing anything untoward. Now, on the grand scheme of interacting with people, this is pretty low hanging fruit, right? You walk up to someone, hey, can you take this survey? And they're like, screw you, and they walk away, right? There's, there's not, much, it's not much harm. We're not trying to scare someone. We're not trying to get some personal uh, identifying information from anyone, nothing like that. But nevertheless, we still have to go through this process. But because we're not doing you know, brain surgery on some, someone, our, our bar is a lot lower. So to explain to you guys what, what I do is um, every, usually every two years, so I usually extend it for two years, um, I, I do an application and some of you guys that might be taking, um, uh, might be doing capstone might either have done this or might, if you're gonna do a survey, which is a cool thing to do, you might need to do this. But basically we have a, a group on campus called the Institutional Review Board the acronym is IRB. And so whenever we want to do something like this, we have to submit an application. So in this case, I've submitted an application for our class. And I say my name and contact info and say why, I'm, why we're doing this, this work. And then provide the instrument and say some things like what do we do with the data, et cetera. Because we're not paying people for this, this is all voluntary because we're not collecting any identifiable information, meaning someone's social security number, or name, or, or, or cell phone number, or anything like that, it's, the bar is, is lower. And so we usually get what's known as expedited review. If we wanted to do something and ask someone about their personal psychological history and, and that kind of stuff, which can be very, very useful research, the bar is a lot higher. Regardless, because we touch people in some way, I don't mean touch people, but I mean, because we interact with people in some way, shape, or form but because of this, we all have to go through the training, okay? So the training, you guys have to do this, and now that you don't have readings this first at least day or two, it's a perfect time to do this and get it knocked out. I don't mean get it knocked out, I mean go through the training and be appropriately trained. Um, again, a lot of this training is oriented to people doing many, much more invasive stuff than we're doing. So you, if you're going through the training, they talk about things that aren't really applicable to us, you just, okay, I'll learn how that is and go click. You're gonna go through this online training. Everybody individually has to sign up for this and do this individually. You're gonna go through the process. And the last step, there's gonna, it changes every year. So sometimes they let you email it to yourself, but the safest thing is the last step, they'll give you a certificate. It takes about 45 minutes, an hour to do something like that, right? It's one of these, one of these online trainings. So like, if you try to go click fast, it'll go, whoa, dude. You gotta read it, and anyway. So, um, so you're gonna go through it, and there's information provided, and there'll be occasional quiz. Hey, how do we do X? And you say, oh, like this. Um, and then when you successfully complete it, it's gonna say, ah, great job. Here is your name, and here is the date you completed this, et cetera. So hopefully there's an option to email it to yourself, but regardless, I would just do a print screen or a screen grab, so that you know before you click off that website, you got it. And then it's not up yet, but I'll provide it to you guys. We'll have a, a little Dropbox um, 
because I don't think I don't think or or Google Drive something. All you guys need to do is, is put that certificate in there and says and it's, it says in my case, you know, Sean Anderson did this training on date whatever, and we're good to go. Um, <clears throat> that makes us legally compliant. So to do this work, this research has been approved. But with the, it used to be enough that I, the instructor dude, would do the training. But starting about two years or so ago, they said whoever is is doing the the contact with the people. It's not good enough that I've gone through the training and then train you. You guys all have to do it. So again, it's free, online, doesn't take a lot of time, but, but go ahead and knock that out in the next, next day or two, and then we're good to go. To do that, uh, I can send you links, but since I just got your guys' emails, I haven't done this yet, but it's, it's super simple. If you just go to our CSUCI website, search the letters IRB, and it's gonna take you to this website. And then if you look on the right of the IRB, right over here is there's a training and compliance um, uh, tab. So if I click that training compliance tab, it says human subject research training and certi certification. So there's, there's two trainings you can do. There's NIH and there is uh, CITI. If you wanna pay for it, you can. Or why don't you just do the free one, the CIT one. So you're gonna go through, it won't really work for me because I've already done it so it'll look different, but basically what you'll do is you're gonna click that Collaborative Institutional Training Initiative, which is run by the University of Miami, I believe, and you're just gonna to go to their portal. When you first log on, I'll say, what's your name, you know, that kind of stuff. And though there's a drop, there's a, um, uh, like a pull-down menu or a drop-down window that says, uh, it says, you know, what's your institution and California State University Channel Islands is one of the options, just pick that. And then um, I think nowadays it makes you kind of log in through my CI, and then you just go and do it, and you're good to go. So again, save, screen grab either a JPEG or PDF, however, whatever the option is to, to generate that final certificate, the last screen that you'll see. Save that, put your name, like, title the file your name, and then upload it into that, that drive that I'll, I'll send you guys later today or tomorrow morning kind of thing. Cool? So that's basically the preparation you have to do. Um, okay. Uh, Isn't this the same as the drone one? Yes, yes. So if you guys have done this within the past year, you don't, you don't need to redo it, but we need evidence of it. So if you guys lost your certificate or lost that, um, yeah, so it's, it's, one, it's one certification for any other classes, a psychology class you might have taken or other research with us or whatever. Um, so if you do have it, you don't need, you don't need to do it. You, I, we just need evidence of that, of that certificate. So it could be, again, the first couple of years it was all lame. You couldn't get it out of the system before. I think now maybe if you log on, maybe they let you print up your old one. But, but um, if not, you need to redo it. So it's not the end of the world. It doesn't take that long. But if you guys do have it, all we need is one within the past year. So cool. Um, okay, so getting back to, does that make sense? Any questions about that? Again, I'll send this to you guys, but just go to CSUCI, search IRB, and then it's the training and certificate tab. And it's the CITA. Okay, yeah. Where's the drop uh, I haven't sent it to you yet. I'll send it to you, I'll send it to you. I wanna check with Sean what, how, what he, how he wants to do it, but um, pr it'll probably just be a Google link, a Google Drive or something simple. So it'll just be some place you guys can just drop it in and you'll be good to go. Cool, okay, so, uh, yeah, the other thing, again, normally we spend, I spend a little bit more time on this when I'm teaching, but we're trying, trying to keep, get in here and get you guys out quickly. Um, so um, about, about half of these questions are asked, have been asked every year since you've been doing the poll. So we have this, this nice longitudinal survey. So the history of this was, um, originally I did this at UCLA when I was uh, teaching a restoration ecology class. Um, and then when I went to Stanford, it kind of changed and evolved. And then when I came here, I started using it in this class. And originally, this was, this was not research. It was not meant to be research. It was not meant for anybody. It was just for you guys. It was meant to have a class discussion so we'd have some information. And after like the, I don't remember, second year or so, I emailed some of our friends in the Park Service and the county government and different industries and stuff. And I said, hey, does this make sense? You know, I'm, I'm kind of phrasing things in a certain way. Is this, is this too nerdy academic? Does this make sense? And all these people sent all these questions that they wanted and they said, can we have your data? And I said, no, 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 it's not for you. This is a class, this is an exercise, like a lab activity, right? Like, granted, for a couple weeks, but it's just, it's a lab activity. And they said, yeah, well, well, we don't have any data, so we want it. I was like, yeah, well, no, because it's not made to be, you know, robust. And, 
And so many people kept asking us, the county, park service, all these people, essentially in, I think it was 2006, 2007, we overhauled it a bit and made it a little more rigorous. And, and since then, um, it's been really, really helpful. So every so often, we'll, we'll do a, a report from this. And it's a great example of the stuff that you guys are doing. You're, you're practicing, you're figuring out how to do polls and all this kind of jazz. But you guys are also helping. So you guys, by doing this activity, you really are making a difference in, in giving a sense to, well, we don't give it to them every year, but, but periodically we're updating our coastal colleagues as to what people think about their management, how worried people are about oil spills, those kinds of things. So, um, so it's, it's a helpful thing you guys are doing for our larger community. Um, so having said that, uh, some questions are on there because we ask them every year and they're really helpful. Most of these questions have been, uh, not most, I, I'd say, but a good chunk of these questions are based off of other polls. So, um, so, the, the, so w when you're doing polling, it turns out the way you phrase things makes a lot of, has, has a lot of um, impact, right? So if we said, you know, how horrible is the president? Is he really horrible or just slightly horrible? Right, we're obviously, we're, we're, we're pushing our views or our perspectives or whatever on someone. So there's, there's absolutely a, a craft to this. But um, one of the clearest ways to, to try to control for that is when someone has been asking a question a certain way, ask that question with the same wording and the same phrasing, right? There might be some issues with that, but at least it's comparable, right? And so that's what we've done. And, um, and so that's why a good chunk of these questions we ask sort of year to year, or we flip them every other year kind of thing. And we can see changes over time. So 15 years ago, were people as worried as they are about oil spills? Are, are, are they less worried? You know, that kind of stuff. Um, but then uh, another chunk of them uh, come from you guys. So another chunk of them come from you guys, which are things that you're like, we don't, we haven't asked anything about blah, blah, blah. Or this, this thing was just a, an event. So, so, so obviously we didn't ask about um, the Deepwater Horizon before the Deepwater Horizon happened, right? So, so there's some things that sort of creep in. And um, uh, whenever something creeps in, other things have to creep out. Obviously, you guys, it's very long. Yeah, I know, it's very long. Um, so we can't add a whole lot in, but we can add a question or two if there's something really, um, you guys have taken this now, or most of you guys have taken this now. If there's something that you're like, oh my God, we just haven't been talking about, I mean, the burning of the Amazon isn't, isn't, uh, isn't a coastal thing per se, but, but you know, something like that, something that just popped up, like, oh, we should really see if people are worried about this or what their take on this management is. Is there anything like that that's just totally biting you guys in the butt and saying like, oh, we, we, I really am curious about this. We should ask a question about blah, blah, blah. No. All right. Perfect. Great. Everybody good? Okay. So uh, I need to talk with Sean and, and sort of revise this, but basically um, this is our poll. What are we going to do? You guys, so we're going to provide you guys copies of this. Okay and you guys are gonna go out and survey folks in public places. So uh, first and foremost, just a reminder, we're not paying anyone to do this. And, um, and you guys are gonna get polls done by some deadlines. Uh, uh, I'll, I'll make a video as to how to do the data entry because we're still tweaking this, the data entry form isn't done. But essentially what you guys are gonna do is you're gonna do this paper form and then you are gonna go type it into a, a spreadsheet basically, so that, and then we'll all share the data. So you're not gonna do, so this is a two part assignment. First part is go out and do it and enter it. The second part is to, is to check it out and we'll look at what's going on with the thing. Now you're not gonna analyze the entire poll. Um, maybe you're passionate about energy or maybe you're really interested in habitat loss or whatever the issue is. Right, so, so you can focus on that subset of coastal management challenges or what have you. The first part of the poll is doing them and entering them, and half of your grade is just doing that. So we get that it's a huge amount of work, it takes a lot of time, it takes time outside of class, understood, but half of your grade is just simply doing it. So um, uh, I would encourage you guys, once we get going and we talk about the schedule, to get, do them as, as quickly as, as possible. When you, when you get out there early and do these things, weekend here, a couple hours this weekend, couple hours, it is not bad. If you wait all till the day before it's due, you're gonna shit yourself and you're gonna be like stressed out, you're like, this is horrible. 
you know, yeah. It's a four unit class. It's a, it's a heavy workload class, right? So that's, that's what's going on with this. A um, uh, couple other things to say. Uh, you are not to do this with any of your friends. You're not to do this anywhere on campus, right? So again, what are we trying to do? We're trying to census the broad population of, of our region, okay? So if you surveyed one student on CSC size, is that the worst thing in the world? Well, no, but we have to have some rules. Otherwise, everyone would survey a bunch of students at CSUCI, and while it's cool to know what students from CSUCI would, um, are thinking, we're not a representative swath of the, of the population, right? We're by and large young, um, and, and our incomes are by and large low, and all those kinds of things, right? We're trying to get the wealthy folks and the poor folks, the folks from Oxnard and the folks from Malibu, and you know, it's all over the place. So our goal here is to get as broad a representation as possible, and if we use our friends or, or someone associated with campus, that, that's not a, a random grab. Um, now, polling has been much in the news lately, especially since 2016. Something happened in 2016. I don't know what happened. I think the world ended, but anyway. So, um, so um, we've been doing this the same way the whole time, right? So I've been doing these surveys since basically 1999. And starting around two th after the dot-com boom, when, when Google started to monetize stuff, 2002, 2003, 2004, people started abandoning written polls and doing um, online polls and, and, rope and uh, 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 phone-based sur uh, surveys. And maybe some of you guys have gotten these surveys. And the answer is, and the, the, one of the reasons people say, oh, this is so lame, this is so intensive, and you guess, you know, oh, this is so, you know, 1990s, you know, this is not modern technology. Well, you know, surprise, surprise, those modern fancy polls have some issues too. So what's happened is virtually now everybody that when you read, not everybody, but a large fraction of these studies, when you read them, they're no longer done by folks that are randomly encountering people. They're done by a handful of survey companies. And those survey companies have a list, a phone number list and et cetera. And they, they'll tell you, oh, we got a representative swath of the public. None of them, and I've talked to many, 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 many of these agencies, none of them will give me their methods as to how they know they're getting a representative sample. They'll say, they, they go, oh, we do take a representative, like how do you, right? Just like everything else we do, we talk about coastal erosion, someone says the cliff is eroding, we're like, okay, cool, can I see your methods? Yeah, this is what I did, I went and I grabbed this part of the cliff using this, this piece of instrument with this thing, right? And you, can, you, guys, you guys could go replicate that. And you can say, oh yes, that's right, I found the same thing, that cliffs are really behaving this way. With this stuff, because it's all gone to the private sector, and there's these consulting firms, mostly they're consulting firms, for-profit consulting firms, that like, this is my data, I'm not, uh, I, yeah, just trust me. That's why when you see a, whatever, presidential candidate poll or some initiative poll, it'll say, whatever, 75% of the people say this, plus or minus 3%. And when the next poll comes out, uh, whatever, you know, the next month, it'll say, uh, on some other issue, 85%, plus or minus 3%. They don't, they don't check their own errors. They don't do that stuff, right? So we do. And so it turns out that our little effort here with just you guys is as good, if not better, than the, the stuff that all these wealthy news agencies and whoever are reporting. Um, and that's because we go, we, we take random grabs of people, right? So we're not trying to say that our opinions of coastal management are the same as folks in Texas or their perceptions in Iowa or something, but for our coastal area here in Southern California, this is pretty much the best data set that exists. So it's pretty cool. So you guys are a, a key part of that and, and you guys should be pretty uh, stoked on that. Um, so what that means though is we have to make sure we're getting you know, we're, we're, we're getting out and about. So, uh, you go to public places. What does that mean? That, that means you can do it at the beach, that means you can do it at the park, that means you can do places where the public, ideally random swaths of the public gather. Starbucks, great. People getting a car wash, great. Not, not, not like the drive-through one, but where they like get out of the car, because they're prisoners, 
<laughs> and they're bored. You're like, hey, would you mind, right? Um, or, you know, moms, moms watching their kids at the playground. They're like, you know, sitting there for hours on end, or dads or whatever. Right? So, so those kinds of things are what we're looking for. So we're going to public places and we're bumping into people and we're like, hey, um, uh, my horrible, evil professor said I have to do this poll. Would you mind doing this for me? And so, um, so we're going to do the first exercise. We're just going to, um, on Wednesday, we'll give you guys some of these polls. And you guys are going to, just five, you guys are going to go out and do five. And then come back and then you guys are going to bitch and moan and say how hor horrible it is. And nobody wants to take a survey. This is horrible. It is true. This is always a challenging exercise. Since 2016, it's, it's gotten m much harder. So there's there's a there's a change in our culture about about engaging with with random strangers and stuff, and it really materially has has impacted us. So we'll talk about techniques. The best thing to do is just you guys. So we'll give you some of these. You guys have a long weekend. Go do these five. Don't enter them yet. You're just going to go do them, and then next week we can we can talk about them and sort of debrief and what, what are the techniques that work. Generally speaking, wear some CSUCI stuff. Right, so you look vaguely official, and hey, I'm a student in this class, and we're we're looking at people's perceptions of the coast. Would you mind taking a survey? And and boom, and so um, you know, give them a pen and whatever, and they're doing it. Now, uh, it's important to note that we're not we're not trying to write any identifying information down. Uh, you'll notice on this, you guys just took it here in class, but you'll notice on the right it says today's date. After they finish it, you should write the date down, and then just because we want to know where we took it, you guys will, you guys will, um, uh, I'd say, you know, Starbucks in Ventura or whatever the heck, right? So we have some sense of where it was taken, but that's it. Um, but as soon as somebody hands it back to you, don't take it and like, right in front of them. They're gonna like, what are you doing, right? So the idea is these are all just, and and again, uh, we don't want to bias people. So when we give it to them, that's what you say. That's what you say, right? So I say, I'm, I'm in this class, uh, or this management class in, at Cal State Channel Islands. We're doing the survey. Would you mind doing this? And if they start asking you questions, the answer is, you know, really sorry, but um, I'd love to talk with you about this stuff after. But for right now, I can't, I, I don't want to bias, I don't, I don't, I don't want to uh, predispose you to answer one way or the other. If it doesn't make sense or it's confusing, go ahead and leave that question blank, right? No stress, right? Don't, don't, don't freak about it. The most common thing you get is people, oh, I'm busy, I, don't wanna, I wanna avoid you, and they're gonna kinda walk away. Uh, or people will, they wanna help out, and then, and then they'll feel embarrassed. Oh my God, I feel like I should, and some of you guys are saying the same thing. Oh God, I feel like I should know this, or oh, I don't even know that. And it, that's not the point, right? The point is just to, to gather people's impressions. So if it's a struggle for them, if they're stressed out, no worry. The very, very end, the last page, this is the demographic stuff. And so this helps us figure out if we're getting a, a, a decent slice of the population, right? Uh, and so uh, uh, zip code, um, uh, year that you're born, household income, that kind of stuff, that helps out. Um, but you know, they, they could leave all that blank and it could still work for us, but that's how we check to see are we getting a representative sample? Generally speaking, we do pretty darn well, except we tend to, all the people that take this survey tend to be, what is it? I think it's a little bit younger than the average and a little bit more college educated on average compared to the stuff that the census gave us. So now that our census survey was 10 years ago, we're about to do another census, so, so we'll have a better sense of what our local community is like in terms of all those, all those educational attainment and all those parameters. But, but when we've checked it, we've, we do pretty, pretty darn well. Um, by and large, okay. What that also means is that we can't do everything in one spot. So you find that Starbucks that's awesome, or the brew house that's awesome, or the park that's awesome, or whatever, and that's great. You can only do so many. So everybody needs to be moving, and so that assures that that we get different geographic representation, different community representation, etc. Your your allowable survey spots anywhere in Santa Barbara County anywhere in Ventura County, anywhere in Los Angeles County. But, it, but those three counties are where we're going, okay? So don't go up to San Francisco for the weekend or San Diego and do surveys down there. So, so this is how we try to constrain stuff. Um, so the, the first, let's see, right, okay. So then have a look at 
the piece of, have a look at this guy. So again, our goal is to sample as broad a section of the population as possible in these three counties. And so uh, I, these links are old, that's why I need to, I need to update this, but I will. Um, anyway, so a couple of the constraints. Only adults, oh, do you, need, uh, do you guys have, are there, is there more of the one pagers floating in the back? Yeah, thank you. So, okay, so one of the constraints that the IRB placed on us is we can only do adults, okay? And that's because, uh, as you'll learn in your training, folks that are less than 18 don't have the capacity to necessarily make decisions on their own, et cetera. So um, only 18 year old people, you might do someone that you think is 21 and they end up turning the survey and they wrote down that they were only 17 and okay, but, but don't target people that, are, that look to be young, the 18 or younger than 18, right? So only adults, we're only re allowed to survey adults. Um, again, can't do it, uh, we don't want any CSUCI taint on this, we don't want any bias in that. Um, we're, we're gonna do public places, no more than 25 in any one place. So if you find a great place, that's awesome, but you can't do them all in the one place. And then of, so you can do a total of 40, so these first five will count towards it, okay? So the first five are, that are practiced are really real, but, but everything counts to the total. But um, at least 10 of them have to be outside of Ventura County. So that could be Santa Barbara, that could be Carpinteria, that could be Agoura Hills, that could be Santa Clarita, whatever, but, but you have to do a few that are not right here, otherwise everybody does Thousand Oaks, Camarillo, Oxnard, and then it doesn't, that's not really representative for us. Um, and then if people, again, if people wanna ask any logistics questions about this, that's all good, but you don't wanna say something about oil spill, or you don't wanna say something about people suck, you know, and that kind of stuff, right? We don't wanna, we don't wanna uh, bias them, right? Um, uh, and then never, and so, to, you know, of course, say I'm a student at CSUCI, this is class assignment we're working on, but don't give out your personal name, okay? If anybody has questions, if they want to see the results when we're done with them later in the semester when it's all been cleaned up and everything or whatever, or want more of whatever, you can give them, they can take the poll with, I mean, we need to give it, but if they're not gonna take the poll, you can just give them a copy of one of the blank polls, and it has my, my email address up here, right? So you can give them my name, don't give anybody your personal info. Uh, again, we're also going to public places, but some of these public places, there's business going on or whatever. If someone were to walk up, the owner of that Starbucks and go like, what are you doing? Right, you're like, oh, I'm sitting here for 17 hours doing polls, why? You know, they're like, well, I, can you please leave? Whatever, the answer is always, yeah, totally, sorry. Wasn't trying to, wasn't trying to cause an issue. It's, it's virtually never happened. It's happened once or twice with our seafood surveys. Um, mostly folks that were doing, I don't want to say this, but, but not doing the most above board selling of seafood. They didn't want us to be serving seafood in their restaurant. Surprise, surprise. Um, but, but anybody says anything like that, you're like, no problem, dude, totally. Yep, I'm out of here, right? So we're not, we're not trying to invade anybody's space. We're not trying to cause any stress. We're just trying to sample different folks from different places. Cool? And again, we've done thousands and thousands of these and we hardly ever have any issues and we never have any significant issues. So you guys should be good. So you're only going to public places. You're not going to some dark alley somewhere where you're by yourself at midnight or something like that. No, 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 Just open places. Um, in general, try to be a little bit thoughtful, right? So if it's, a, if it's this near a supermarket or something during, you know, right after work and everybody's buying food, don't, don't you know, go do that stuff there. But, um, but yeah, so, the, so I will give you guys the first, I'll, I'll print up the first ones for you guys. And, we'll, and all of them will print for you guys once it's all up and running in a, a couple days, um, we'll also have links. So if you guys are somewhere and you lose them, you could also print them yourself if you're, if you're just like, oh God, I wish I only have five more to go, but I ran out. So that'll all be up and running. We just need a day or two for that. But you guys should plan on this coming weekend getting five done, okay? And uh, so go ahead and do those and do the best you can. And then next week we'll have a debrief because you guys will all have tried it and you guys have, well, I tried this phrasing and it worked well, that kind of thing. Cool? The last, last thing to say is uh, the, one of the final requirements of us for, uh, of our, our approved institutional review board survey stuff is to, um, is we have to hold on to these surveys for, uh, I forget what the current one is that change, change, I think it's like a year or so, a year or two years. So what that means is at the end of all this, so at, at whenever October, when we're done with all this, 
You guys are going to submit your stuff to the electronic, uh, electronic um, uh, type it all in. But then at some point after the following week, whatever, you guys are going to give me the physical copies. So that day you guys are going to come with your rubber banded, your, your surveys all together, has your name on it. And you're like, here's my deal. I'm just going to take them and put them in our archive. And then a year from now or two years, whatever, we'll just shred them. But that's, I don't know why we have to do that, but that's what the Institution Review Board says. I think it's in case someone claims we were doing something untoward. We can go, no, these were the, these were the surveys that we, I mean, we won't be able to identify that person or something, but you get what I'm saying? So when you finish them, don't chuck them out. And when you do, when you do, do them, make sure you jot down the date, et cetera. Cool?